Does everything appear to be in order? Good. Welcome to the beyond. I am Bera. One half, anyway. She points a finger in the direction of the dwarf who led you here. Though the movement is slight, her gauntlet squeaks like a rusty hinge. The dwarf's rictus returns as he nods in the woman's direction. Tell me, do you remember when we last met? She places a card on the table, showing a tall tower. The gods' constellations are arrayed around it in the sky. You remember now, the Hall of Stars in Twin Elms, where you spoke with the gods. You came to that tower seeking our aid. You chose to pledge your services to other gods. Still, a pledge unmade stands fairer in this court than a pledge broken. She places a card in the middle of the arrangement. A bell tower with no bell. Her fingertips slowly drag away from the card, faintly creaking as they retreat across the table. You had need of the gods once before. Now it seems we have need of you. The being that occupied Odnua's statue beneath your castle was the dead god, Aeothus. Of this, we are certain. What we do not know is what his intentions are. Though Aethys stole a large fragment of your soul, you were strong enough to survive the onslaught and enter the in-between. You and he are still connected. He has chosen a body made of living Audra, Perfused with the power of thousands of souls, including yours. It should be little difficulty for an experienced Watcher to find him. No. But neither is your body truly alive. Your lungs draw breath, your heart pumps blood. But your flesh is as soulless as a hollowborn. That is, until I return you. She delicately places a card upright on the table. The art depicts souls flowing out of a pillar of Audra. I know. It is my business to know. 322 in Cadnua and your surrounding lands. Their souls remain in Aethys still. You have the power to save them. Serve me, and I will return you to your body. Or don't, and return to the wheel. <laughs> 